It's like that feeling when you step into a particularly decrepit human building. The ones that look like they belong in history, the weight of its past dragging it down and down until it's anchored, stuck. In those places, the ghosts of the past linger, forever wandering their hallowed halls of shelled-out hospitals or collapsed tunnels. The humans sense their presence more like a paranoia that someone is watching them. The chill that runs down your spine as your breath becomes frigid. But they're there. They are watching. Uh, time passing in their doomed anchors like sieves of sand. We have often wondered about the afterlife, but few linger in this world after they have passed. The humans, on the other hand, cling on to it. It could be anger, hatred, grief, love, or any other combination of all their intense feelings. They stay. Oh, the pirates raising their gun now. Xanthia's perception slowed, a natural defense mechanism of their species. The corridor was littered with bodies, plasma holes cutting cleanly through soft shells and flesh. Green blood mixed with red, mixed with yellow. They paint the halls, an abstract reflection of a massacre. The broken lights above flickered, drenching the world with color before plunging it back in darkness. Xanthia takes a step back and raises their two arms. Their movements were slow, so, so slow. The gun was heavy in their hands. Xanthia could feel the sweat of Killian's hands on the grip of the gun, every tiny little stimuli blasting their way through Xanthia's skull, all clamoring for attention. The humans, they cling to this world. Xanthia could feel a presence behind them, a sudden chill along their spine, a dropping of the temperature. A cool hand was placed on their shoulder, and their eyes tracked a hand that was... was not there. Stay calm, Zan. You don't aim well when you're so tense. The gun grew lighter, as if another invisible pair of hands was holding it up with Xanthia. Remember your stance. Take your time. End it with one shot. The pirate had already raised their gun. A press of their trigger sent a beam of plasma hurtling down the hallway. Xanthia ignored the bolts. Aiming the pirate in the sight of the gun, they breathed out and pulled on the trigger. Xanthia was never good with guns. Please! The bolt that was shot travelled down the hall, illuminating the hall as it pierced through the skull of the pirate. Yellow blood splattered on the wall as they slumped down, lifeless. Another castaway puppet in the corridor. See, that wasn't so hard. Xanthia could hear the smirk in Killian's voice. Xanthia turned around, one hand holding the gun and one hand reaching out to where the voice was. The hallway was empty, except for the hollowed eyes of Killian. His corpse sported red spots of blood, tainting his security uniform. The humans cling to this world. They linger because they have a drive that is beyond death itself. It could be anything. Their family, their friends, their pets. But nobody, not even death, could force humans to cross until they want to. Until Xanthia was safe. The voice that came next chimed softly, the most beautiful ring in the world. Xanthia's head is filled with crackles as the chime grows distorted, the ocean of the cosmos breaking and distorting it as it travels away. Keep yourself safe, Xan. I, I... Xanthia hopes he hears them. I will! Xanthia slumps down and tries not to cry, crying anyways, next to Killian's body.